exactly kind of situation should it come that state leaders are hoping to prevent. And they think a big first step toward making that happen is identifying at-risk teenagers. I, re, uh, I team reporter Brian New tonight looking at one promising program that could end up in a lot of Texas schools by the fall. This is interesting. Yeah, it could really happen that fast, Doug. Out of all the ideas being discussed, in the hours after the Santa Fe shooting, Governor Greg Abbott only mentioned one program by name that he wants to see used across the state. Many believe this mental health program developed by Texas Tech could identify and stop someone like the alleged Santa Fe shooter. They're having a shooting at the high school, have an officer down, shooter not in custody. This is supposed to be the unthinkable. Shots fired. We have several shots fired. Possibly one or two rooms in this area that we're at. Yet it happens again and again. It's been happening everywhere. I've always kind of felt like eventually it was going to happen here too. After every school shooting, there's a call for change. We're going to be striving to find strategies that will prevent actions like this from ever happening again. But ever since Columbine High School 19 years ago, most would agree far too little has been done to prevent mass school shootings. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says this time will be different. A big reason why, he says, is a little-known mental health program out of West Texas that goes by the acronym Twitter. By using online video chatting with teens on one end and professional counselors on the other. It would appear like what we're doing right now. Director Dr. Billy Phillips says his program has identified students that may have been planning mass shootings. The intention of it is to get the best services we can for the student and then to avert the crisis that could have possibly happened. In response to the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, in 2014, the Governor's Criminal Justice Department office gave a half million dollar grant to the Texas Tech Health Science Center to launch its project as a test run in a handful of rural districts. The way it works is teachers recommend troubled teens to the program. Those teens are then screened by licensed counselors through live video conversations. The technology allows the counselors to reach more students in more schools. The project has been in place at 10 rural school districts in West Texas for the past four years, during which more than 200 students have been flagged as at risk. 25 students raised enough concern that they were removed from school. People have asked me, well, what's the best metric for your program? And I say, in the four years we've run it, nothing's happened. No one could ever say if such a program would have prevented the Santa Fe school shooting. But the governor says the 17-year-old suspect wrote about planning the attack in a journal. And the suspect told detectives, according to the arrest affidavit, he did not shoot students he did like so he could have his story told. Both signs of a troubled teen that just may have been detected by a program that could soon be in every Texas school. Whether we could have found this particular kid, I don't know. But I know that if we're trying to find these kinds of kids and be positive about it, we're going to do better than if we don't do anything at all. So there are two big hurdles standing in the way of this program from being in every high school in Texas. One is funding. No one has a price tag on a statewide program right now. The other is a lack of mental health professionals in Texas. This is a big concern because if you're going to identify all these students as being at risk, you need to be able to give them the professional help they need. And that puts us right back at square one with the money. Brian.